most part, I love Office. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing so many Office videos. But there are certain things that drive me absolutely nuts. And in this video, I'm going to talk about them, or one in particular. So in Word or Excel or PowerPoint, or whatever program you find yourself using often, well, if you're a user of previous versions of Office, I'm talking, you know, 97, 2000, 2003, and you've kind of moved through the versions. Well, we had menus and now we have a ribbon, which is fine. But for the life of me, whenever I want to insert a section break in Word, I always go to the insert tab, realize it's not there, and then go to page layout because that's where it is. So it drives me crazy. And what I'm going to do, or what I'll show you how to do, is to simply add the button to the tab you think it should be on. And then in another video, we'll even talk about creating your own custom tabs along the ribbon. But for now, I just want to modify the insert tab and add a section break button here so that I don't have to go to page layout after I realize it's not on the insert tab. Here's how you go about doing it. This applies to any Office application. You can click File and choose Options. And then when Options pop up, you can go to Customize Ribbon uh, down the left hand side. And once you're there, <clears throat> you need to find the command that you'd like to add. So instead of popular commands, because it might not be there, uh, I'm going to go to main tabs because I know it's on the page layout tab. So then there's a group here called page layout. I know it's under page setup. There's the breaks button. I want to add it. Where I'd like to add it is to the insert tab. So I have the insert tab selected and you can't just add it. What you have to do first is make a group. So I'm going to click the insert tab and then at the bottom here, I'm going to click new group and it creates a new group. I'm then going to rename it. I'm just going to call it breaks and then hit OK. Now it's at the very end of the uh, insert ribbon. So it's going to be at the far end here and I don't really want it there. So I'm going to reorder it and you can do that just by click and drag I'm going to put it next to the pages section. And then once it's there, I need to add the button. So I've got a custom group. Now I need to add the button. So I'm going to select the button we found, add, it adds it over. I'm essentially done now at this point. So I click OK, I go to my insert tab. I now have a button that says breaks and there are all my wonderful breaks. I don't have to go over to page layout once I realize I'm an idiot and forgot they're not on the insert tab. So we can customize our interface in any Office program to suit our needs. We don't actually have to fit into the way Office determined we should, we can get it to fit to what we need. And that's a great feature that we have in our newer Office products.